Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aparva Rai Chaudhuri. So today we're gonna see a design of simple electromagnetic metamaterial absorber on CST Studio Suit. And while opening the CST Studio Suit, you're gonna come into that particular page which you're gonna see on the screen right now. And from that, you have to go to the new template section. And after new template section, you're gonna select the microwave and RF opticals and then the periodic structure. And then we're gonna give the next section. And we're gonna select the FSS metamaterial unit set as we're gonna design a unit set. And we're gonna select the phase reflection diagram going forward. And we as we're gonna run the simulated or designed electromagnetic metamaterial in frequency domain, so we're gonna select it in frequency domain. Then the dimension of it you're gonna see in millimeter by default, and as basically all of them who design electromagnetic metamaterial are used to design the electromagnetic metamaterial in millimeter range. So we're gonna design in the electromagnetic metamaterial on the same dimension, which is set by default on CST. So yeah, here we're gonna see the define using frequency and the boundary will be 2 to 12 gigahertz for that particular design which we're gonna design right now and we're gonna calculate the re reflectance transmittance and absorbance and observing the electromagnetic metamaterial absorbers result basically we're gonna see the electric field and magnetic field of the design so we select the monitoring section for electric field and magnetic field and then our mm, settings for mm, starting the design of electromagnetic metamaterial has completed so yeah we we'll finish the section now we're gonna come down to that particular section where we able to design the electromagnetic metamaterial absorber first we're gonna change the perspective of the design so it would be front so starting the design we're gonna select mm, go to the we're gonna go to the modeling section and as we know that electromagnetic metamaterials are made up of three different layers one is patch another is substrate and another last one is ground and substrate is situated in in between the patch and ground and substrate is also made of mm, dielectric material and the patch and the ground are made of conductive matter like you can say copper and and for substrate we uh, going to use fr for for that particular design yeah dielectric material and the patch and the ground are made of conductive matter like you can say copper and and for substrate we uh, going to use fr for for that particular design yeah and firstly we're gonna design the patch uh, for, for the electromagnetic metamaterial absorber for that we're gonna take a brick and we're gonna design a four only eight millimeter by eight millimeter dimension electromagnetic metamaterial absorber and here I'm gonna say minus four by four and here will be four and the uh, thickness of the patch would be 0 0.035 millimeter uh, we using 0 0.035 millimeter based um, patch is because um, we are using the copper anilt copper um, material conductive material and 0 0.035 is the ideal thickness with um, thickness copper and metal material which are currently available on market that's why um, thinking about um, future while we're gonna concern um, take our took our research more advanced level so we need to fabricate our design that's why um, we need to be aware of designing um, electromagnetic metamaterial which is possible to fabricate it in near future yeah so that's why we are taking the thickness of the copper and it as 0 0.035 millimeter yeah and the material is the copper and it which you can search over here and it copper and load it and we're gonna name the 
section as patch you're gonna give a preview we're gonna see the preview of the shape so yeah okay if we hit the button okay then we're gonna see that the shape is already created section now what we do is we took already took a basic um, structure of the patch now we're gonna give it a design before um, go to the other section of um, designing substrate and ground section now as we created a basic um, dimension or structure of the patch now we gonna give it a sh perfect shape before um, designing the further part like um, the substrate section or patch and for that right cut, we are gonna cut down a square shape from this particular structure it would be a 7 millimeter by 7 millimeter dimension structure so it would be 3.5 both the side of the axis x and y axis and the thickness would be the same as before like the main structure which is 0 0.035 0 0.035 and uh, the material would be backroom because uh, as as we said that we're gonna subtract that particular in this particular shape that we are taking right now from the um, outside uh, outside layer so uh, selecting um, backworm as material give us that um, an option to directly subtract that particular shape we are taking from the original outside shape of the patch yeah. if, you, if you give a preview you see okay then you can see it right now that a option is come down in the right side and here you can select the cut away the highlighted shape hit the ok button and you can see the shape is gone now we're gonna take another structure for the patch which is right in, right in the middle of the design we're gonna take the width of the design like we're gonna say 0 0.5 millimeter 0 0.5 millimeter yeah so in the left side of the y-axis it would be 0 0.25 and also right side it also be the 0 0.25 and the one in y-axis mm, the length is not that much important just we have to mm, be careful that uh, it, it must be overlapping the original shape so that if when we add the both the shape together for the patch it uh, adjust by itself with the mm, outer layer and also the thickness would be the same as before which is 0 0.035 millimeter and the material would be copper and it okay then we're gonna hit the ok button yeah now we're gonna cut a split uh, right in the middle of that particular bar so the thickness uh, would be of that particular split 0 0.2 millimeter we are actually randomly taking that split for this particular design so in y-axis the upper layer it would be 0 0.1 and the downstairs it also would be 0 0.1 and the thickness would be the same as before 0 0.235 millimeter and for as we are subtracting we're gonna subtract this particular section from the bar so we're gonna select the back row like before so yeah we're gonna split it out split. Yeah. we select yes okay so here it will be option come down so here you can see the section is um, subtracted out of the design now we're gonna add the patch and solid section through um, selecting both and clicking into boolean add you can see the shape is converted to one particular structure 
and this will be working as a patch for our electromagnetic metamaterial absorber now we're gonna go on to design the other structure like the substrate and the ground for substrate we are gonna use the upper board as a dielectric material so the dimension of the dielectric material would be the same would same as the patch It would be same but uh, as we say earlier said that the, the section which situated right beneath the um, patch so the dimension would be the same but uh, the thickness is gonna in the opposite direction from 0 to um, from 0 to minus 1.6 millimeter as we are using um, fr4 um, as a dielectric matter material the globally mm, recognized thickness for that is 1.6 or 1.5 millimeter which are mostly available on market so we are writing, rightfully using 1.6 millimeter as the thickness of upper pole yeah you can see and we're gonna give the name as substrate substrate and the material would be fr4 glossy Glossy. Okay. If you give a review, I'm gonna see that the substrate section is right beneath the patch. So hit the button OK. And now we're gonna design the ground section. Ground section, we are going to remove it as well. Ground and the dimension would be same as before, like the patch and substrate. And thickness would be as we said, the conductive copper and uh, thickness um, is 0 0.035, which is ideal. And we are going to use the same thickness for the ground as well. And the thickness would be from minus 1. 1.6 to minus 1.635 that means the thickness of the uh, ground would be 0 0.035 and we're gonna use it as copper and we're gonna give a preview you're gonna see that a shape is already having seen in there Now the electromagnetic metamaterial absorber design has been done. So now we have to um, add the waveguide code before simulating it. So before um, adding the waveguide code, first for giving it um, giving a look properly, we remove the working plane and the boundary box. Now we can see more clearly and now we're gonna add the waveguide port on it one is on the front and one is on the back firstly we're gonna add a waveguide port right in front of the patch so after selecting the waveguide port section uh, a subsection will come in front of you like that so here we have to select the Z, Z dimension and uh, negative then you can see you are able to see in a structure like that coming out and before setting um, you know, hitting the ok button we have to um, make sure that the waveguide port is connected with the patch front layer properly for that we have to position the um, waveguide port properly for that we have to copy this value and paste it over here and in front of that give a minus sign and add the patch thickness uh, over here which is 0 0.035 now if you give the preview you can see that the waveguide put is 
perfectly connected uh, with the patch surface and if we hit the button ok the webguide port 1 is perfectly connected within it now we are gonna connect the webguide port 2 which will be connected with the ground section for that we have to select the Z and positive orientation is positive and the same process which is copying that cradle and pasting over here and for uh, while adding webguide port in the ground section we have to add the thickness of the um, patch just like before and also for a ground section we have also have to add the thickness of the substrate as well now you can see that the webguide port is perfectly connected with the ground section and if we hit the ok button we are now completed all the work of the design uh, of electromagnetic metamaterial observer and connecting the webguide port now before simulating the design we have to go to the simulation section and then click the boundary where we have to select as we are uh, we are gonna run it uh, as a single cell electromagnetic metamaterial absorber not an array so that's why we have to select the x min that in x min as electric field x max as also electric field and y min and y max as magnetic field magnetic field and hit the ok button now we reach the position where we can go to the setup solver and simulate the design and going to the setup solver we have to do a couple of more things like the source type would be all ports and the mode will be one and we have to select the tick to click uh, then we have to click the normalize as parameter to and convert it into 377 ohm as we know that um, the webguide ports are connected with the patch and ground through free space and free space impedance is 377 ohm that's why we have to select the resistance as 377 ohm before um, starting the simulation after completing the whole um, procedure we have to we have to just click the button start to start the simulation yeah that's the process